Holy cow, it just feels so good to be back in the friendly confines of the big house here in Ann Arbor, Michigan, Hyatt's Art Volo for the University of Michigan with a buddy of mine who hasn't been here in way, way, way too long. It's John Records Landecker, who was famous for his years at WLS AM and FM in Chicago. How does it feel to be home in Ann Arbor? It is fantastic, and Art got us passes, <laughs> and you know, there's a movie idea here. Do you know that? There is? Yeah. What's the movie idea? The movie idea is that there's this guy who has two great passions in life. One is radio, uh -huh. the other is football. Oh, wow. And he starts sort of like as an outsider, a, a super fan, and over the course of the years, he becomes so ingrained that he's actually included in the Hall of Fame of Broadcasting, and he has run of the Michigan Stadium. Everybody knows him. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing, Art? That be? What's, what's going on, Art? What's happening? Who could that be? I don't know, but I think there's a story there. I think there's a story I'm there, too. You. That's for sure. Yeah. Well, today we're playing Rutgers. What are they doing in the Big Ten? I don't know, but we thought they'd be a pushover, but we lost to them by two points on a rather controversial well, call that was last what? year. Yeah, but this is this year. Yeah, and that yeah. was, you know what that was? That was in Piscataway, New Jersey, and we were a little pissed off in Piscataway. <laughs> we, I was there. Well, I think they're going to win today. I think so, too. You got Harbaugh. That's, we got what's, Harbaugh. What's the quote about Harbaugh about the enthusiasm not known to whatever it is? Enthusiasm known to mankind. Enthusiasm unknown to mankind. Thank you, Michael Osterman, my good old cameraman. And we are going to, of course, feature, as we always do, television video from uh, the Big Ten Network today. Right, right. But not TV audio. Don't want that. Radio audio coming to you from IMG through WWJ. And you'll get to hear Dan Deardorff on color and play-by-play -by, -play by Jim Branstadter. They are the best. Have you heard these guys? Uh, my whole life. Oh, man, no, that's all. Well, they're really they're getting better every week. We're here. You're there. Let's go, Blue. Yeah, look out, Michigan. Art's back. <laughs> season, Jim Harbaugh. When a hush settles over that stadium, and we all anxiously wait for that simple forward command to emanate out of the PA system, I can hear it now. Gentlemen, presenting the Michigan Marching Band. Band, take the field. Under the direction of Dr. John Pasquale, the M. sends him to split wide right. Rudock's in the shotgun. To his right is the lone setback. That's Drake Johnson. Here's a fake to Peppers. Rudock back to throw. Throws over the middle. He's got his man. That's Chesson. It's in the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan. And again, it's the Jabril Peppers effect. The fake to Peppers in the backfield throws the whole mid-level coverage.
coverage of the Rutgers defense and allowed that hole in the end zone. And again, they're just mesmerized by what by what Jabril Peppers is doing. They faked him going yeah. wide, and that stretches that middle and creates a natural hole. And it, it and it made every one of the linebackers take a step forward, and that's all it took to open up the end zone. Blake O'Neill with a hold, Kenny Allen with the extra point, and the Wolverines on the 13-yard touchdown pass. Rudock to Chesson, take a 7-0 lead over Rutgers with 8.03 left to play here in the first quarter at Michigan Stadium. This is the Michigan IMG Sports Network. 